What's up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video, I'm gonna be doing a review on an app called Desk. Desk is a markdown text editor that can be purchased in the Mac App Store for $29.99. Now the price is a little steep, but let's see what it has to offer. So when you open up Desk, you can create a new document, and then you can start typing for your project right away. You don't have to select a template or anything, you just select new document, and then it opens a new canvas for you to start working. And then you can just start typing something like, hi, my name is George, not Mac Square. You've been lied to. Ha. And you can just double tap on any part of the text to bold it, italicize, or underline. And you can layer these on so you can have all bold, italicize, and underline. You can also choose a heading style. You can choose from heading one all the way to heading six. And you can also put a part of text in a quote. You can link stuff and you have some lists. And you can also justify this to the left, center, or right. Now the purpose of most of these text editors is as soon as you open it up, you can start typing and you have a clean interface. And as you can see, this app does a pretty good job of keeping everything organized and not cluttering it with a lot of menus. And what these apps try to do is get you to focus on your work and then you can publish it to blogs like WordPress or Tumblr. But it's just a very simple idea that you can work and then publish and you don't have to go to the site or the blog to log in, create a new post, type it all out. And this is actually a really nice idea. Now, I'm not a blogger, but I can see how this will be very helpful for writers that publish daily or use this app very often. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a post that I wrote while messing around with this app, just so we can get a lot of content. And I try to add a whole bunch of different styles like bolding, quotes, and italicizing, underline, etc. So you have a few export options. If you go to file export, you can save it as an HTML, RTF, doc, or PDF. Now there are a few options up here in the view. You can enter it into full screen, which would be very helpful if you have a very large project that you're working on and you need the maximum amount of screen real estate. That would be ideal. And you can also change this to transparent mode. So if you're not always working on it, you can just set it to that and then drag it off to the corner. And then when you're ready to work on it, you can set it back to full transparency. You can also toggle between a day and night mode. And lastly, you have this float window option, which I honestly have no idea why it's there and what it does. So once you're ready to publish your post, you can just go over to the right and select share. And if you have not already added a blog, you can go to the plus icon, select a platform, WordPress, Blogger, Tumblr, Facebook, TypePad, Movable Type, and Squarespace. And once you've added that, you can just enter in your site URL and log in to that site. And then you can always publish to that blog. You can also set favorites. So if I go to this Tumblr blog here, I can go to the edit and then add it to the quick publishing so that when I'm ready to quickly publish it, I can go up to blog and select quick publish. And it'll ask me if I'm sure I wanna publish it. I can select publish. And now if we go over to that blog, we can refresh the page and you will see that my post has come in very nicely. Now, after careful consideration of what that float window option does, I figured out what it does is that it floats the window on top of others. It's a magical feature, really. So if I select float window and I open up another window, the newly opened window will overlay itself over the desk app. But if I go back and I select float window, any app that I select, the desk will always be on top. And now it is time to rate the app. So for concept, I gave desk a four out of five, capability four out of five, compliance three out of five, and then the customization was two out of five because while there were some options with adding blogs and different styles, you can't really customize fonts and all that stuff. And I know it is a markdown text editor, but I would like to see a few more options there. And for cost, I gave a two out of five because $29.99 for this app is just too much. I would maybe spend $9.99 on this, but again, I'm not a blogger and I don't know everything there is to know about these markdown text editors. So if you are a daily blogger, then this app may be perfect for you, but I settled with two out of five. This leaves Desk with an overall rating of 15 out of 25 and an okay badge. So that is it, thank you so much for watching. And I'm also trying to get started on those development tutorials. If you need help with something specific on 
something web development related, please be sure to comment down below with your suggestion. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.